So here's the question. How do you feed your golem if you run out of data? Um, four months ago, first paper that showed, OK, you've run out of data, well, but I have a model that can generate language, so why don't I just use the model to generate more language to train on? And it turned out that didn't work very well. But four months ago, this group of researchers figured it out. So it spits out a whole bunch of data. It looks at the data, figures out which ones actually make it better, and then uses those to train. And then it can just like do that auto recursively. So, so it has like a test, like, hey, here's this test of a performance on an accuracy score. And then it starts generating its own training data and figures out which kind of training data did I generate for myself, because it's a generative AI, actually makes me better at passing this test. So it's able to create its own training data to make it pass tests better and better and better. So everything we've talked about so far is like on the exponential curve. This, as this starts really coming online, is going to get us into a double exponential curve. Now explain how this also relates to its own code. How could it be used for its code? Um, a very similar uh, kind of thing. The model was trained on um, code commits that make code faster and more efficient. Um, and this is a little more general. It hasn't yet fully been applied to itself. But in, in this uh, particular piece of work, and that was, I think, three weeks ago, um, it makes 25% of code 2.5x faster. So that's another part of like the AI making itself stronger and making itself faster. Um, 